Hello again. One of the things which puzzles me is why Parliament is so keen on inventing all sorts of new laws when the police are plainly incapable of enforcing the ones which already exist. Two random examples cropped up this week. The first is that an amendment to the Online Harms Bill will make it a criminal offence to send or show flashing images electronically to people with epilepsy intending to cause them harm. The second is legislation which will render any man whistling at a girl in the street liable to be sent to prison for two years. I give links to these two new crimes in the description to this video. I find this all very annoying, not I hasten to add because I'm in the habit of sending flashing images to epileptics or whistling at girls in the street, but rather because the police do not seem able to cope with and bring to justice those breaking the laws which already exist. Let's face it, 95% of burglars and rapists get away with their crimes. I would like to see the police put a bit of effort into dealing with serious offences like that, instead of being given a bunch of new laws to enforce. The other objection I have to this business is that the police will seize upon these things gleefully for two reasons, and so be distracted for their, from their real work. The police already spend far too much time patrolling the internet and looking at Facebook or investigating supposed hate crimes committed online. I see why they would rather do that than be out on the cold streets with all those nasty villains, but you see I would sooner see them on the streets instead of knowing that they're at their desks peering at a computer screen. I think the last thing they need is to be given something else to be hunting down on the internet. And then the business about wolf whistling and cat calling in the street is annoying because this is an offence relating to sexism that the police will actually be able to deal with without too much trouble. Tracking down rapists entails a long and arduous investigation with no guarantee that at the end of it the juries will even convict the guy. How much simpler it will be to catch some builders up on a bit of scaffolding who wolf whistle a girl or call out hello darling or something. This will enable the police to claim that they have a zero tolerance towards crimes involving women and also get a few solid convictions to boost the lamentable clear up rate for real crimes. What I want and also what every single person to whom I've ever spoken to about the subject wants is for the police to come down very hard on burglars, rapists, muggers and people who use knives and guns on the streets. Once they've sorted all that out, then they can turn their attention to other matters. What makes the streets so unsafe these days is not a bit of catcalling by yobbos, it is people stabbing each other, discharging firearms and raping women. Tackle those things first, then we can talk about small stuff.